A study published to the journal Science Advances shows that early Bronze Age people in Syria crossed donkeys with wild asses to make prized horse-like hybrids, demonstrating advanced understanding of animal breeding. Wait till you hear this. The bones of horse-like creatures unearthed in a 4,500-year-old royal tomb in Syria are the earliest known hybrid animals ever bred by people with DNA sequencing showing them to be crosses of donkeys and Syrian wild asses. The discovery suggests that early civilization in what is now Syria was really advanced technologically, and that is according to Eva Maria Giegel at the University of Paris. In 2006, the complete skeletons of 25 animals were found in a 4,500-year-old royal burial complex called Tel Um El Mara in northern Syria. Archaeologists were perplexed because they looked like horses but had different proportions and horses weren't thought to have been introduced to the area until 500 years later. To work out what the animals were, Gigel and her colleagues sequenced DNA from their bones and compared it with the genomes of other horse-like species from the region. And they discovered that the animals were hybrids of domestic donkeys and Syrian wild ass which went extinct last century. It was possible to sequence DNA from the Syrian wild ass using 19th century teeth and hair specimens housed in the Austrian zoo and an 11,000 year old bone dug up in Turkey. The researchers now believe that the hybrid animals are examples of kungas or kungas, mysterious horse-like creatures with donkey-like tails that appear in royal seals from the early Bronze Age Syria and Mesopotamia. According to clay tablets from the time, kungas or kungas were highly prized and cost six times more than donkeys. They were used to pull royal vehicles and war wagons and as dowries for royal marriages. Gigel believes that people in the region may have started crossing donkeys with Syrian wild asses after spotting them mating by chance and producing offspring with desirable qualities. Donkeys have an easy-going temperament but are too slow for battlefields, while Syrian wild asses were fast but too wild and aggressive to be tamed, so the Kunga or Kunga hybrid may have balanced the two, and this is according to Gigal, who said, but breeding them wouldn't have been easy because special strategies would have been needed to capture the Syrian wild asses, which were very fast, and bring them to the female donkeys so they could produce hybrids. The study's co-author, Andy Bennett from the University of Paris says, Once horses were introduced to the region around 4,000 years ago, Kunga or Kunga breeding probably ceased because horses could fill the same roles and reproduce on their own. Kungas or Kungas were probably a lot of work to breed and just weren't as good as horses.